Good day and welcome to another rousing rampage on Grudge Match Unlimited, the show where the toughest denizens of fandom come together to try to crush the competition and claim the crown. Today's episode turns us to the two big daddies of the slasher horror genre as two nigh-unkillable murder machines go head-to-head. It's the John Carpenter-created Boogeyman with a Blade, Michael Myers, versus the Cunningham and Savini homicidal horror in a hockey mask, Jason Voorhees. While the most common collision of horror movie monsters has always been Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger, the matchup of Michael Myers versus Jason Voorhees seems much more natural as both of their abilities and personas are practically mirror images of each other, both being very silent, faceless killers behind masks who use superhuman strength, a wide variety of stabbing weapons and implements, and virtual invulnerability and immortality to just slaughter and kill as many people as humanly possible. Michael Myers was created first by a couple of years in 1978 with the first Halloween movie created and directed by the legendary John Carpenter, and over the years has returned again and again as the main antagonist of seven different movies. Even though there's been a grand total of ten Halloween movies, Michael Myers has only been the true antagonist of seven of them. Halloween 3 didn't feature Michael Myers in any respect. And then the Rob Zombie remakes, the two that have been made by Rob Zombie, are out of continuity with the rest of the series, so those don't count. But the backstory of Michael Myers is that when he was a young child, he went crazy and he murdered his older sister. He was consigned to a sanitarium for many years of his life, and while there, he was cursed through a magical ritual performed by the Cult of Thorns and this led him to sort of lose his soul and become an embodiment of pure evil, an unkillable boogeyman who was driven beyond his will to murder all the surviving members of his family, which became his primary goal throughout the entire rest of the series, always going after his few remaining family members. Over the course of the movies, Michael Myers is seen to be virtually indestructible by any means that the protagonist of the movies used to kill him, he always manages to come back. At the end of the first film, he was shot several times, fell out a window, and then the next time the protagonist looked out the window, his body was gone. He survived several gunshots, he survived multiple stabbings, car crashes, even fire and explosions, and he's appeared to be virtually unfazed by them. In addition to his functional immortality, he also has a heightened level of superhuman strength, as can be often seen by the way he'll lift people up with one hand and shove blunt objects clean through their body in one motion, just viciously, viciously killing people with whatever implements happen to be on hand. But he most often uses butcher knives and chopping blades that he finds around people's kitchens, when he's going around his stomping grounds of Haddonfield, Illinois. Jason Voorhees, created in 1980, created in the Friday the 13th movie series, a movie series created in reaction to the popularity of the Halloween horror franchise. Jason Voorhees has appeared as the main antagonist in nine of the Friday the 13th movies. He was not the primary antagonist of the first film, that was his mother, nor was he actually in Friday the 13th Part 5, that was a copycat killer, and then the Michael Bay remake of 2009 is out of continuity with the rest of the series as well. So, nine movies in the Friday the 13th series have featured Jason Voorhees. He has abilities very much on par with Michael Myers, being pretty much unkillable and having superhuman strength and having a penchant for using whatever implements happen to be on hand to kill those he's set himself against. However, Jason Voorhees' powers are fairly unexplained. It's never really delved into in any of the movies in the Friday the 13th series where exactly he gets his powers from. It's been theorized that he can jump from one body to another and Jason goes to hell. It's been theorized that he just has this innate ability to not die, this un dominable will that keeps him coming back to life over and over. But for whatever reason, he is very much immortal and has sustained massive, massive amounts of injuries throughout all of the movies that he's been in. 
he's been blown completely to bits and has come back and survived it. In Freddy vs. Jason, he sustained massive tissue damage and tissue loss at the hands of Freddy Krueger and survived it, even having knives jammed into his eyes, and then a few seconds later, close-ups, you see his eyes have reformed. So it's not just that he is unkillable, but he actually has a certain amount of regeneration and ability to grow back the lost body parts that get completely destroyed. His only weakness has been seen to be water, as since he was a kid, and that's how he originally died, is being drowned, the protagonists of the Friday the 13th series have on occasion been able to temporarily immobilize him and stop him by submerging him in water, and especially if they manage to sink him in Crystal Lake, the place where he originally drowned, that immobilizes him until something will come along to resurrect him. So with these two titans of the horror genre on relatively equal footing, it really comes down to whose abilities are more potent, who has displayed greater feats of strength, and who has displayed greater feats of resiliency in their respective movies and related media. So having examined the backstories, abilities, and tendencies of these two characters, it's time now to determine who would win if they were to ever collide in one-on-one -on -one competition. That winner's going to be... Jason Voorhees. The killer of Camp Crystal Lake is going to come out on top in this grudge match, the reason being because he has been shown to be able to withstand vastly damaging amounts of punishment and be able to come back from it. Michael Myers has never really been shown to survive the level of damage that Jason Voorhees has. In Jason Goes to Hell, at the very beginning of the movie, he is literally blown to pieces but by the end of the movie, he's found ways to reform himself, and he's right back in action. Michael Myers, on the other hand, his most of his damage that he's sustained has been things like stabbings and gunshots, where his body remains relatively intact. And in fact, in the movie Halloween H2O, at the end of the movie, the coup de grace that was expected to have fully and finally killed Michael Myers once and for all was a decapitation. Now, a decapitation wouldn't be the kind of thing that ends Jason Voorhees in any permanent length of time, but it was believed that that would have killed Michael Myers. It turns out that that wasn't actually Michael Myers who got beheaded, it was the ambulance driver who Michael Myers had switched clothes with, but still, it goes to show that Michael Myers has never sustained the level of damage that Jason Voorhees actually has. And when it comes right down to it, a butcher knife versus a machete is not much of a contest at all. The machete's going to win every time. In terms of who inspires more fear and an overall creepier vibe, that could easily go to Michael Myers, as he is seen to be the boogeyman and an embodiment of pure evil. But this is a fight, and Jason Voorhees is not going to be intimidated or frightened in any way, as he doesn't feel those kind of emotions. And Jason Voorhees weakness of water would most likely be something Myers wouldn't be able to capitalize on unless they ended up fighting on a dock or somewhere where he could actually throw Jason into the water. And unless that happened, Jason's going to be a bit stronger and more resilient and is ultimately going to take the win of this Grudge Match Unlimited. So message me down below, let me know what you think of the outcome of this fight, and as always, of course, any suggestions for future matches We'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match Unlimited.